Well, foreign policy was a top issue at tonight's Republican debate. Five of the party's top candidates faced off in Miami. A debate once again without the party's frontrunner, Donald Trump opting to host his own separate rally. WGN's Dana Revick here with a breakdown of the night's events. Yes, Dana. I kind of took a look at both of them. Mm -hmm. So it's, there's actually only 68 days left until the Iowa caucuses. That is when Republican primary voters will determine their party's nominee for president. Tonight on the debate stage, we heard from former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, businessman Vivek Ramaswamy, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, and U.S. Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina. Five GOP rivals took the stage in Miami. The first topic, Donald Trump and why they would make a better candidate for president. I'll say this about Donald Trump. Anybody who's going to be spending the next year and a half of their life focusing on keeping themselves out of jail and courtrooms cannot lead this party or this country, right, and Governor, it needs to be said plainly. Donald Trump's a lot different guy than he was in 2016. He owes it to you to be on this stage and explain why he should get another chance. Instead, GOP frontrunner Donald Trump held his own rally in Hialeah, Florida. They put you me, my family, and our country through hell, but in the end they will fail and we will win because we will never stop fighting to save the America we love. Back on the debate stage, there was plenty of drama. Do you want a leader from a different generation who's going to put this country first, or do you want Dick Cheney in three-inch heels? All right, Mr. In which case, we've got two of them on stage tonight. With several digs from Vivek Ramaswamy to Nikki Haley. In the last debate, she made fun of me for actually joining TikTok while her own daughter was actually using the app for a long time. So you might want to take care of your family first. Leave my daughter out of your voice. Other topics on the table, Israel, Ukraine, and Iran. My foreign policy is simple. You cannot negotiate with evil. You have to destroy it. I would be telling BB finish the job once and for all with these butchers, Hamas. Iran responds to strength. You punch them one and you punch them hard and they will back off. But what we don't need is Biden falling all over himself to get back in the Iran deal. And on the economy. We can reduce the price of energy. We can reduce the price of food and the price of electricity if we focus on my build here, don't borrow from China plan. I'm going to take all the executive orders, the regulations, everything involving Bidenomics, I'm going to rip it up and I'm going to throw it in the trash can on day one where it belongs. That is going to give the economy breathing room and I'm also going to rein in the Federal Reserve. Other topics tonight included fentanyl, abortion, and social security, where several candidates said they would be open to raising the retirement age for younger Americans. Some also said they would eliminate benefits for the rich. President Trump spoke at his rally for about an hour and a half, and his fraud trial, as we know, ongoing. That will continue in New York. His daughter, Ivanka, uh, took the stand to mm -hmm. testify today. All right. Dana Rev, thank yep. you very much.